This is a video game stream. All right, cool. Windows G enable. The answer is the moon as it orbits our planet. The Adel Rock's gravity pulls on objects what from different directions. What's the brittle hollow? Oh shit! Oh god, wow. Well, there's the Adel Rock. Okay. These planets are all real close. I think Hollow's lantern is just beating the shit out of me. <laughs> no wonder it's so brittle. Well, that goes down pretty far. Shit. Can't tell if that's oh, a shit. person oh, or. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. It looks like we're going in the black hole, everybody. Using oxygen, oxygen as propellant. Uh oh. Well, my ship is over there. Sand's rising. Welcome to the death chamber. That is chamber. so cool. Fuck I you. thought that was the fucking station. That was the planet. I'm afraid. At some oh, point. Oh god, this is my worst nightmare. Oh shit, like, at the beginning whoa, whoa, of the whoa. loop it's launched? It's like 2001 Yeah, there's the probe. See, now I know what is the fuck like I'm looking at. Is this just a little at? probe that... I thought this was like a satellite. How? How, where did the signal come from? No so one's alive my ship down is gone. Oh no! So I to think it's more dangerous than we realized. I'll learn what I can here. Go, warn the others. Maybe they can construct Please shelter don't somehow. Don't now. Don't now. Please okay. don't do this! This is very scary. Where'd you come from? No one's coming here. Well, you you ever actually. the brightest hatch like where just warps us back um, around. What? Where's my ship? Gravity. Oh, weird. Oh, oh. I imagine your oh, purpose shit, you're is alive. the same as mine to learn about to find the eye of the universe. That was universe. a really fucking cool scene. Oh, okay. still have it's one of our friends here. I don't remember what exactly. No, get back the in there. Lies within the sun. Quantum cactus. Was oh, that a quantum cactus. Well, well, we're on the sun station. End of natural life cycle. Did the now planet red just crash into us? Oh so, no! Yeah, we're, we're in a little bit of trouble. Oh, no. I don't even really want to be out here. Deep Space Anomaly <laughs> well, we matching have, uh, all known goal great theories. Auto pilot the universe. Oh nice, thanks. I shit. do not this have this is all about. This planet right now. Universe ends forever, no big deal. Oh yeah, that's Orange fine. Your sun is how I got into this mess in the first place. The stars were beautiful, weren't they? The song is new to me, but I'm honored to be a part of it. I think I blew up the universe, chat. That was my scout. That was my scout! What? How'd it get through there? I can't believe there's more Outer Wilds. Some of you might be thinking, well, how, how much does Vin remember of Outer Wilds? I remember more... Like, I, I know what that is. Good start. Uh, new exhibit. The radio tower here was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. To this day, it still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. So, the radio observation tower, I guess, is where I have to go? Okay, I'm gonna look for this radio thing. I still remember how to fly this, more or less, just on instinct. Wonder how far along the loop I am. At the moment. And we're recording. <clears throat> it's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system looking stunning from every angle. Each of these three images. And in color, no less. Now, this is art. I could stare at these photos forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on. What is that? That can't be right. That, that's... I mean, I mean, that's not even possible. A am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is, it doesn't show up in either of the other photos, just this one. Okay, so there's an anomaly of some kind. Goddamn interloper. And here we go again. I don't really have a specific idea of where to go. Interloper. Ah. Uh, well, that's the satellite itself. I'm gonna go back to the radio tower, and just see if I missed anything. Or the autopilot will crash me into one of the twins. Oh, don't do that. Another happy landing. Frequency discovered deep space radio. 
Uh, it, that doesn't... Yeah. Who's that? They have spoons on them. Who is that? Is... <laughs> I don't know. I'm already confused. The, the sun looks quite healthy. Yeah, this music. Brings back some memories. You destroyed the fabric of space-time. Me? <laughs> what did I have to do with it? Well, anyway, that was Outer Wilds. Thanks for watching. That's all there is. Slowly figuring out what the fuck happened here and what's happening here is really what this game is. I found a guide that really doesn't have spoilers. It turns out the dude in the picture was Gabbro, or whoever. There was uh, a spot over the sun in one of the pictures. Well, there it is. Because something kind of happens when you're at a certain angle based on the photos, when it had the, the degrees, I think it's just a matter of just keep looking at the sun, basically. Oh, 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 oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, that's something completely, completely different. Oh god, what's happening? Sun's gone. So it's getting kind of creepy already. Oh god, what's, what is going on here? Gotta fly the ship better. Me, me flying the ship better is a good start. What the fuck? Oh. Oh! 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 Spacesuit! Oh, God. So that's what's supposed to happen. Okay, well, we know how to get the thing started. The silenced co cartographer is the achievement I just got. Remember, that was intentional. Just me getting an achievement, really. That is very fucking creepy imagery. Error unknown language. So this is maybe an entirely different species then. Reacts to light. Trees detected. Oxygen tank refilled. Well, thank God for trees. Whoa. Whoa, we're in... Okay, it's a halo. Is that supposed to, like, scoop me up? Because it was scooping me up for a minute. Okay, I'm assuming that comes in later. Are these, like, elk creatures? Okay, well, that elk creature took a raft, so I'm wondering how this is gonna fit into the story. Was it just passing through? Sent back in time? Some kind of weird anomaly sent it here? Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Huh. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have, like, a lens of any kind. I mean, I know this is here now, which is good, but- oh. Hmm. Secrets of the universe revealed to Deer Moth. So that's them arriving here from just the next solar system over. But what does it mean? Is it the quantum moon, I wonder? Okay, I don't know what that means. Well, there are definitely other points of interest. Yes, this is one of those points of interest. Whoa, oh, no, 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 this way. <clears throat> one must retain raft to be lifted. Oh, fuck. Okay, so at this time, the fucking dam breaks. Got it. What an incredibly Outer Wilds thing to happen. Oh, 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 God. Huh. Alright, so this is already, like, really fucking cool. Here's another cinema house. We have a missing lantern problem. Boy, I hope nothing else terrible happens... ...in here. Okay, so... I am still not really processing the information, but there's another one down here. Okay, let's see. What we got here? So there's that thing again. They're like, analyzing it with their weird, like, light tech? Red. And then old and die. Oh. Okay, that thing is bad, then. There's a lot of missing... ...footage. And then it kind of, like, just... ...phase-shifted into orbit around the sun. Okay, uh... I have some idea of, of maybe a little bit of maybe... ...one percent of what's happening. I will say, this place is cool as fuck, though. If I couldn't be in an octopus's garden, perhaps I'd be here. At this point, I think several vital... ...areas have already been destroyed, so... ...I'm just gonna keep going. See a cave up there. Something... ...very interesting. What if Outer Wilds DLC was just, they give you a gun? This species is so connected to nature... ...they built, like, a nature ship. Well, I don't... ...see any movies. Could be a building that was destroyed by the river. Well, we all know what that sound means. Hmm. Okay, there's a puzzle here. That's going to take a little bit more effort to figure out.
Fuck. That's not going to help me now, but... Later. I, I know how to do it now. <laughs> so that was weird, because it didn't actually... Engulf me in hot, fiery death. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I know about the launch codes. No, I was gonna tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for locations you visited before. It's a brilliant feature. Dead useful. Okay, so... The Stranger. That's what they're calling it. I can autopilot my way in there. Yep. Oh, that's that's useful. I think maybe at the beginning of this area I might have missed, but we're gonna go down the river and and uh, try to get to those spots before before the pulpage occurs. Okay, that was the area I was at, and then it got fucking destroyed. I'm just gonna keep going down the river. The hell was that? Ship log updated. Well, the bridge broke. But that doesn't help me. I don't know what I was expecting for this DLC, but I kind of thought I'd just be going to the same planets I had been to and just more stuff would be there. But this is actually, I think, better. I think it's that. It's that. <sighs> <sighs> Some kind of malfunction? Like a probe? That can't launch because there's a, a thing that's fucked up? Before the fucking reservoir breaks, let me see if I can watch a movie film. Kinda wanna know what the inciting incident is for the reservoir bursting. I don't know if the event will be visible, or if I'll even be able to watch it because I'm exploring. How about that? And how about that, too? Oh, oh, fuck. It's still really fucking cool. Even just seeing it kind of, like, dissipate by the time it gets here, it's, it's pretty badass. Okay. It's one of these broken things again. This seems important. Roast marshmallow. Are we sure this is safe? I've seen those symbols before. Hmm. I was hoping that maybe... Sleeping would, um, maybe, maybe it would trigger some kind of event. <laughs> Any minute now. Two hours later. Okay, well, I can't interact with anything. Good time to wake up. Time to die. Ooh, oh, well, that was almost a fast and merciful death. Kinda stuck in here now. Well, I'm more than kinda stuck in here. I'm- I'm stuck in here now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my- oh god. W way to break the illusion. I don't even- Oh god. Okay. Well, my ship is gone without me. And so I'll join the sun. <laughs> oh my god.
Isn't this the, the poopy stuff? These crystals? Pick up artifact. Oh, alright, cool. I mean, this is a fairly chill place to live. I mean, if you're traveling from solar system to solar system, I could think of worse places. Is that a hidden thing of sorts? Okay, there's a hidden thing. So light is obviously very important to this race. That shorts out the lamp. <laughs> There's the eye. Do they worship the eye? Or are they just, like, rather fond of it? I mean, it's down there. I don't know. I'll just try something. Okay, goodbye. The river's too powerful. Every bone... ...broken. It's gonna break any second now. Wow! Hey, good on me! Kind of cool. This room seems very important. Okay, I don't know how to get in there. I have no idea what it means, but it seems important. Making a mental note. It seems like you can only leave one way. I didn't remember this until just now. Okay, this place got also pretty fucked up. I guess on purpose, they just turned away from the eye of the universe because it made people age and die quickly. I know as soon as I start making progress, I'm gonna hear the, the music. Yeah, those are the three locks. I get it now. Kind of. I mean, I understand the general idea of what's happening. can do this fire. It's a lot of burned footage. Did they, like, put their spirits in flames? I mean, that's them looking at their home world and they're crying and they know that maybe... They know that the end of the universe is upon them. Damn. Yeah, those, those that's those outer worlds. Outer, not outer, outer wild. That, there, there it is. I remember that feeling. Smart to do, like, a side story DLC. What a fucking... What a just crazy scenario of living in the timeline where your universe ends. Which again, like, kind of brings me to this this feeling of... What's the point of, like, what what are we doing here? But also, it's, it's beautiful that we are. And we have an opportunity to experience life. I think anyone that says they know for sure whether or not we have any life before or after death... I just want to see your proof, bro. That's it. I just want you to write it out. Okay. Sh take video footage. Just prove it, bro. You know, when you think of the whole... Like, I really want to see alien contact in my lifetime. That would be a dream come true. It's still kind of amazing. I can just look up and see.
Okay, I'm not sure what that is, but that seems important. Or at least notable. Something shifts. Something, like, locks in. Oh, it's a little cave. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I didn't even see that cave. This seems to be... And then that's the submerged one. So th this might actually be pointing directly at the submerged thing. The, the thing that is, like, sunken. Well, we've got a movie to watch. <coughs> Gabe, if you need someone for alien voices for Half-Life 3, I'll, I'll- you can pay me an exposure, it's fine. Okay, so he's- anyway, there's- there's the planet there with the ring. Why does the light go out there? That's a weird device that- oh. Oh. You, you need one of those strange devices, I think, but you can, um, maybe do it from any of them? Also, I was so off with the reservoir burst. Reservoir burst in three, two, one. Like clockwork. Oh my god. Flame- there are some flames- well, well, the flames are still lit. This is fucked up. No, this is not the place to roast a marshmallow. I- I understand, I think. So I need one of those wacky devices. And then I take my place amongst them. I don't know where, um, one of those is. I do, actually. Okay, consider me hooked. So, my power went out. The fuck? Okay, so let's try this again. I guess I could have brought this... I, I mean, the way I interpreted that thing was you could bring it to any of the places that have those lights. As long as they have the picture of the planet. Okay, we, um, thing, things is happening. I don't think we're in the stranger anymore. I'm spooked. Why did it get spoopy? Also, I think I recognize this stuff. Oh, oh well, not really, no. Just use these Lego pieces here. There we go. This part of it was burned down. Thing is walking up there. No, no red thingies. Hmm. The 
fuck? What the fuck? All right, instead of, you know, doing something stupid, I'm gonna try- I'm gonna go back up. I don't know, man. You mother fucker. Okay, so here's my idea. <gasps> hmm? Okay, well that doesn't- um, drowning doesn't help me. And it seems very precious, valuable time, of course, is lost by doing that. Maybe this is like a, a dream world, or... <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh. Huh. Yeah, so it works like Inception. There are things th that make me feel dumb, but then I feel smart sometimes. But, regardless, I at least enjoy the exploration and uncovering all the story elements. It's like a glove. You just put the glove on. I forgot how cool this area was. I think I need to be at the other one. No, I don't. Are there any Endermen here? I'm trying to wonder if this transports me back across the solar system, or if this is some kind of shared hallucination that they go into upon, like, crustification as a way to experience home for a little longer. Now, what could possibly be the point of that? Oh, absence of light. In this case, means that I can explore a little bit more. The oh, fuck, man. Illuminate the Lego light. There's that thing that's underwater. I- I don't- did they transport some of this there, I wonder? Oh. Oh no, that's- that's the inside of it. <gasps> the timing of that is very interesting. And accidental. <laughs> accidental. I would have been- I think I would have been just kicked out of that area anyway. Nice owl deer family. So clearly need to take this thing to area number three on the cliffs in the cave. if any of those are fungible. Space is, um, one of the most interesting things to me. I mean, it, it probably is the most interesting thing. And I wanted to be an astronomer when I was a kid. I told that story. But... You know, it didn't pan out exactly. Y you can't be a major, an astronomy major, in the type of, uh you know, college and high school and grade school, like that was, you know, it was, it was a topic, but it wasn't covered very much. And even so, what the fuck do you do with it? Unless you're like, you take over a planetarium 
But it is really interesting stuff, and I still, to this day, am fascinated by it. Also scares me. The vastness of space, the emptiness of space, the openness of space, the nothingness of space. Well, nothingness and emptiness, same thing, but it's something that really, the more you think about it, it's kind of terrifying, but it's also, it's also really beautiful. And it kind of gives me comfort, too, when things kind of bother me. I'm always kind of, in some form or another, thinking about something that makes me upset. And in some ways, thinking about how small we are and insignificant we are compared to the size of the universe and God knows whatever else is out there. There's a comfort to it. Ha 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 ha! I think we just stumbled upon one of Trent Reznor's unreleased recordings. This place is kind of fucking spooky. Oh my god. Well... That was very spooky. <laughs> I was like, well, let me go over and see if they want to talk, maybe. Exchange cultural ideas and talk about music? I don't know. Oh. Oh, those will just teleport you over. Okay. I mean, that explains a lot. Okay, well... The other building, I think, is... pulped now. Maybe there's a way up. There seems to be stuff on the top floors. And it seems like a light focusing device. Uh, try again. There's gotta be some some stuff that I missed. Fire chamber. So the stranger is a good Billy Joel album. But it's also a maneuver where you sit on your hand and play video games and it feels like you're watching someone else play video games. Oh no. I didn't... Ugh. Oh fuck. This is kind of just before it starts cracking. That's the first time I've seen that. A few moments later. And yet, you know... Some games... are very similar to other games, or their predecessors, and I'm just like, yeah, this is fine. Speaking of, this is fine. This is- this whole... Boy, this has been a... This has been a nightmare, so far. Okay. It's so disrespectful to roast marshmallows in this place. Hmm. Let's see what's down here. There's another grabber. It uses FOV effect. There's someone here right now watching home movies. These people need better frames. They need better frame rates. Surely they can do better than 5 FPS. Not even. It's like 2 FPS. Are, they're not... Are these gamers? <laughs> I really hope there's no jump scares. It's Outer Wilds, they're not gonna do jump scares. Again, I'm only kind of frightened because... I don't know what to expect from this DLC anymore. 
I, I kind of feel like they modeled that ring area after their home. I don't know if this is, I mean, it could be an echo of their home, or this could just be a dream world echo of the ring. It's like, I kind of want to go and talk to that dude. Maybe they're not all angry. I don't like that noise. So I'm going to try to allot myself the most amount of time to do that jump scare area. Well, I say jump scare area, but it's just dark forest. Please don't jump in the water. <sighs> yeah, I get it now. Turns out you can only do each area's thing by going through each area's building. Okay, so I clicked meditate until next loop. And I think that counts as me sleeping at the fire. Uh, you know what? Before I meditate until next loop, though, I want to see that hole one more time because that was very deep. <laughs> that hole was very deep. So there's an underground area here, too. I think I glitched the game somehow. I'm trying to process everything that's happening here. It's it's possible that you have to do this one first, which gives you the shortest amount of time. Then go to the second one, do another thing, and then do the third one. And then go to the final area, all before the loop ends. I can't wait for future chat to say whelp to past Vinny. But why would it be upset with me? Wouldn't it welcome another life form? It's like, let's trade experiences. I'm dreading this. God, even that noise, just me bumping up against the thing. It seems like they're congregating someplace. Maybe they're not trying to be scary, they're just going someplace. So the shortcut is open to that area now, but I don't know what exactly that would accomplish. I'd be so, so much more lost if there wasn't a log. Sometimes the brain does some really fun stuff. I'll be having a perfectly good, like, sandwich, and then I'm thinking... You know what? Why sandwich? Why anything? <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? What up? Do you know what a rotato is? It's a machine that you put a potato on and it spins it at a high velocity. Now this doesn't exist yet, but if anyone wants to send me some startup capital, I will make this happen, maybe, probably not. So that's nice and all, but what am, what am I doing? What am I looking for with the scout? Oh, 
Oh. Oh. So there's something on the fucking stranger itself. That's fucking awesome. That really is so cool. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Okay, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Okay, good. At least I have an idea. I have a vague idea of something that I can do. Alright. Could be on the other side. Wow. Is it here? Wow, it's that small. Okay, this is good. There are things here. Now I can discover and learn things. Is this gonna teach me how to read their language? No. Ship log updated. Ship is gone. Sorry to say this, but the ship has been utterly decimated. Same one. Okay, important slide reel. Here we go. Was that important? Well, I, I learned that they built different devices, starting with a lantern and then into that. God damn this game for being so addictive. It's not even an addictive type, like, you don't play the game and get addicted to the button pressing. You get addicted because you, you want knowledge, bro. K-N-A-W-L-E-D-G-E. -E. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna get onto the raft. I kinda fucked that up. Though again, I am curious to find out exactly what's happening over here and why it causes the dam to burst. Alright, I think I'm gonna just, um, meditate next loop, and... That'll be that. Yeah, I think that'll be that. So, last time I played this, I got a little bit, um... Lost. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Okay, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Though I, I do wonder if I got everything here. Well, that's interesting. That might be it right there. Okay, so they, they built the, the, the thing, the anchor thing, whatever that is. Whatever we call it. That's nice. That doesn't help me very much. <laughs> Whoa. Well, there that goes. Here we doze off here, maybe. That's my theory. That's all I've got. Well, it's- it's something. That would have been nice, just to, like, immediately die. So that requires a combo of things. something was up with this painting. Now 
I was wondering, like, how do you turn those lights off? Okay, so those lights have to go off, I guess. Oh. Oh. That did not feel good. Mm. Okay, um... Okay. Did that guy ever collaborate with corn? They could make some really good lyrics together. They could do. Do I just pause this for the viewer at home? Yeah, why not? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, truthfully, I only paused it for about one minute. No. Why- why'd the power not go out? Oh, fuck, man. Now- now the people in the comments are gonna make fun of me again. Well, there isn't... There's an entrance- hang on a second. I don't know if it's an exit, but I think something just clicked for me, which is that entrance there. Or exit, or whatever. So the secret exists here, too. Yeah. Power is definitely out now. <laughs> is there a way to get in there? Hey, the lights are still on. What 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 the hell? Moth. I mean, Doc. Said the moth. Doc, I really I need help. My life is in shambles, Doc. So Moth walks into a podiatr podiatrist's office and butchers the Norm Macdonald joke. But at least the light was on. Mmm. Oh man. I feel smart. Finally. For the first time in this playthrough. Oh my god. Huh. Uh, okay, well, um, pen and paper time it is. I'm going to refer to my previous footage. I'm also going to restart the client, so I will be pausing. Get in there. Whoa. Ow. Oh. I don't want to see a replay of that. All new. So there's a spot over there. There's a spot over there. And this one's already lit. How many of you are screaming at me? Take a picture, Vinny. Take a picture of all of them. Because, oh, I will. Back in my day, we just had to draw. Or make maps with a pencil. It took us three years to boot up our Nintendo Entertainment System so we could play Zelda. And draw a map on graph paper. You spoiled bunch of fucking twat. Oh god, those faces are kind of a little fucked up. <sighs> yeah, they really didn't want this knowledge getting out, did they? I guess did they scan them into like some kind of data bank before burning them? But yeah, they really, um... These, these weird creatures are very... They, they just don't want this knowledge to be out there. Maybe they're worried it upsets people. Or, you know, the end of the world and the universe. No one can know. Oh, oh, oh look at that! All the burn stuff.
Did it just fucking lock me in here? There's like a fail safe. If you get the slide reel, you get locked in. So I'll take the tablet. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this is the spot. I remember this spot. I remember it very vividly. So between those two candles is an invisible walkway. Now that makes sense because there was an invisible walkway in that area I was at just a little while ago before I fell into the water. That's precisely why the brute forcing technique would not work. I was just about to say, where damn when break? Oh. This is my raft now. I don't know if the other one is post dam breaking. That should have killed me, maybe. Okay. I can't wait for Outer Wilds DLC number two, where it's a race of cockroach, invincible cockroaches that burrow into like shitholes and somehow avoid the destruction of the universe and you have to unravel where they are now and how they survived. Why really just be here? They could have just jettisoned these reels out into space. Yep. Ah! Okay, so this location... Moving to the country, gonna eat me a lot of peaches. Walking through flames? How, how does that help me? I think I know. Uh, okay. Eh? Oh! I'm kind of surprised I didn't run into any of these accidentally. Oh, I know where this is. That burned down area. So you, you go across... I've been here a number of times. Uh, oh, look at that. It's like halfway through the boat ride. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, I finally know what to do. Okay! Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do it today, though. Still feeling a little funky in different ways. So I'm gonna try my best to stay chipper and have my brain be strong so I can play the game incorrectly in a, in a good way. That's not good. whole bunch of them coming across this bridge here in their weird procession. Oh, this is this spot. Good. Well, that was productive. Another happy landing. Oh. Oh god, I missed this the whole time. Isn't it weird that Tintinabulum and Tinnitus sound similar? 
and both have to do with ringing. Tintinabulitis. Cool music. Oh god. They locked the door. Oh god. Hello. I am a Harthian. Can I help you? So that wasn't good. Why are these, like, weird owl deer people so afraid? To just talk to me, bro. We could share stories about the end of the universe, come on. I know a lot more about it than you think I do. No. No, no, no. no. Exactly, you just, just keep going on your merry way. I kinda like their music. No. No, 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 let me- No! I get it, I think. So I'm gonna put out those lights there. And thus open the shortcut. So that I can get back here after the flood. Oh, there it goes. Rip. I kind of hope I don't have to do this again. <laughs> if I'm doing it now, it would be great to not have to do this again in the future. Yeah, no music. Huh, those poor bastards. Okay, now we're in the forbidden zone. Oh god. Huh. Oh, there's a lot of movies. So there's the eye. Sending out pulses to their place. And it lit that fire? Made them really interested in the eye, and everyone goes to take a look. They decide that they're gonna chop down their planet, huh, and build their planet into like a ring because they it looks like they got obsessive about this, and this habitat they built came to the um, Harthians solar system. It's very interesting. Get it. Wait, so they, did they download their language from a cave, but then jumped off and severed the connection? Huh. Yeah, that's not overly communicated. Doesn't really feel like there's anything else of import here, which is great, because then I don't have to do that again. But something vital was communicated to me, and I'm too dumb to figure out what it is. But we're not done here. We just have to approach from different places. There will be more forbidden knowledge. How do we do this? How do we do this cave? I found the slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and falling below the world. Okay, so I was wrong about what I thought that represented. So, let's see if we can go to those other areas and learn more forbidden knowledge. That is pretty fucking crazy, though, that they, like, tore up their whole planet. Expert flying, here we go. They, like, cut down their whole fucking planet to build this thing. Was the... Th 
I wonder if the eye called to them or they were just naturally like fascinated by this thing. Much like the Nomai, they probably... Maybe they just wanted to um, figure out what the hell was going on. But we'll learn more. I did notice that once the echoes of the eye... Okay, hit the um, artifact, it actually caused the flame. So that I find very interesting. Alright, so, um... It's here, somewhere. I love how obvious this is, but also not obvious. Like, I would have passed this a hundred times. I- I have passed it several times. Oh, fuck. What have I done? God damn it. If I fall down there, I'm dead. I might already be dead. I don't know if there's any coming back from this. Get the fuck out of here! I'm gonna keep trying. That's not this one. It's not, it's not here. Fuck. Okay. No. Mate, can you get extinguished already, please? Oh, you suck. You fucking suck. It's just this way. Wow! Good job destroying your fucking planet. <clears throat> the lights are out. Okay, this seems like other ways down into this area. Ow. Well, it's just me. It's just, it's just a friend. I'm also an owl deer. It's fucking... My name is Scrock. Please, let me into the knowledge chamber. I did it. I fucking did it. Okay, so then they, uh, start, like, approaching the eye. Did, did they... Wait, did they foresee this? Nice journey you took. Oh, then they got angry. And then they started, right, then they started burning down their churches. Because they started worshipping this fucking thing. Oh, wow. Oh, they built something to try to contain the eye. Oh, wow. Okay. It's an attempt to, like, contain its echoes and maybe have it not blow up the fucking universe. Okay, so brain yacht. Let's see, there's like a brain chamber. They enter the brain chamber with the, with the artifact. And then... Something terrible happens. Wait, so... Is this how they... they preserve their, like, souls? In the fire? Maybe? The brain is dead, but the... the soul lives on, I guess? I don't know. I'm gonna need the journal for that one. Some kind of tintinabulum. Through sound. Stimulates the brain. It's very unsettling glitch music. I don't know. I'm having a little trouble with this, but... I think these fuckers were toying with immortality. There's more information to be had.
this game is pretty fucking fantastic. It's different enough to the original while still taking place in the same solar system as the original, and yet creating a new compelling narrative with weird gameplay elements. I like it. I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near green fire. First artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep. The second artificial... Sorry, the second artifact lights after its bearer dies. Oh, okay. All right, <clears throat> area number three, here we go. That was a bit of a leap of faith. Oh, you fuck. You fuck. <laughs> fuck you! No. No, stop. Fuck! Eh. Have you ever been so fucking scared in a video game that you started up a new language? Yes, pay attention to that, not me. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. So, I'm not really a fan of the navigating in complete darkness thing. Need to get over there somehow. Do I just walk across? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I'm glad that's over, but I'm going to have to rush through these a little bit. Walking along, simulated, 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 leaves lamp. Walks out and becomes like a, an error ghost. Oh, that's so freaky. What is it? This is the full version of that slide reel, where they cried over the fate of the universe. So then they, they made a little VR world of their home. Went to sleep. Oh, oh shit. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's amazing. But yeah, you you need your uh you need your lantern otherwise that happens. So you can just really like put this down anywhere and walk away from it and get a whole other fucking view. amazing. You know what? I'm kind of surprised I didn't figure that out by accident. Yeah, there really is just a whole other fucking world stacked on top of this one. <laughs> and there's just full... Like... It just shows you all the pathing and everything. Yeah. Did you just... Ouch my bones. Oof, ouch my bones is the name of that achievement. That... Uh, wow, that blows my fucking mind. That this thing was here the whole time. This... You know what, though? There was one hint. There was something kind of weird that happened. At one point, I walked on an invisible surface somewhere. Don't remember where. And I was like, wait, why is it like this? Is this a glitch? Clearly not. I don't know if I have a full understanding of what I need to do to finish this tonight. But 
yeah, my mind is kind of fucking blown, so... If, if only this dude knew what has been going on for the past... DLC and full game. But specifically, the, just the past, like, ten minutes. If that dude only knew... So where do I go? Where do I start? Well, I think I have some idea. <laughs> That's still... It's there. Oops. Yeah, just keep- keep walking. You, you got this. And yeah, it doesn't seem like you can do everything without the flame. Oh, really? Yeah, this area in particular I want to see. Hmm. No, nothing much. I'm too curious. You know, I have to find out. Because now I'll be able to see the secret paths. Like, this is where I found a secret path. Those will still get you. Spider bite hurt. So we don't want to do that. Oh, oh lord, look at that. Because, like, I got this far and then I fell. <laughs> I didn't really understand why. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is this happening? Well, I did learn other new things, but I don't know how to apply them. There's the- the dead one, with the bell, and then one fell through the river. Uh, okay, maybe now is not the time, in fact. And I have to sit on this information for a little while and hatch it like an egg. Okay, uh, I don't know if I've already gotten these... ...combinations already. Somewhere else. Alright, let's, uh, stop this here. This game's great. My minor complaints and squabbles aside, <clears throat> there was a segment that wasn't all that fun, but, you know, what can you do? And here, you know what? Let's just... here. See? Now everything's better. And we can play the music, and it's not as painful. Alright, so I have some ideas, and uh, I'm gonna try a couple things. Alright, my, my first thing is, I watch the footage, and basically there's an error when one of them goes through, there's a video of an error of um, one of them going through a cave. And I thought, very foolishly, there was some kind of area in a cave where you could learn their language. And essentially, I'm thinking, you gotta go through one of those transition caves. And when the user jumps off, there's an error of some kind. I don't know what the error is, I don't know what it's gonna do, but... Oh. Oh wow. I was correct on this one, at least. Alright, well, that, that's one. Now, the third one shows that the bells don't actually knock you out of the thing if you're already dead. Do I have to, like, die in real life? I do know how to do this one. So that almost kind of makes sense as to why the meditate thing would put me back in. I mean, maybe that's it, too. Maybe that'll work as well, I'm not sure, but... I'm gonna try the, having the fire kill me. 
without spoiling anything, Dave mentioned that there's also a little secret ending if you complete the game. I don't remember how to do that, and instead of looking up a video, I might just ask Dave to guide me through it. Because I've completed the game, it's just been a while, I don't remember all the steps. I have vague memories of the Ember Twins, but yeah, this, this may be it. I might have figured this out, and if I have, then this is going to be a relatively short video. Something really dark about having to, like, fucking die to solve this puzzle. If this is, in fact, the case, and I'm not just losing my goddamn mind. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's fucking insane. But I- there- again, there was a clue when I would meditate and go back in here. I don't know if that counted as death? Okay, so... According to that thing, the bell is no longer- yeah, doesn't affect me. <laughs> God damn, that's amazing. Alright, well, the locks have been released. And, uh, I guess here we go. This is still in the virtual world. So this is still kind of only a representation of, of something. Oh my god. This is freaky. It's all been leading up to this. One of these chambers, kind of. It's only got one, though. I made it here. You gotta give me credit for that. Talk to the prisoner. Who are you? So, it's a prisoner. Cool technology. Oh fuck, he turned it off? So, so they had this under control. But one dude. They just fucking drowned him. Oh, okay. And then they put it, um, okay. They contained it again. Huh. Well, here's my story. Love the musical <laughs> instrument motif. Well, those are the echoes of the eye. Oh shit, yeah, the Nomai got the echoes, and then they found out about the eye, and then they changed course. If I'm remembering my the game's um original lore correctly. Okay, so the Nomai warp in into the Dark Bramble. Oh, we God, the Interloper.
Well, hey, if I didn't remember the first game's story, it, it's all... It's being recounted nicely. There we are. Pretty cool, huh? That wasn't entirely the first game story, but... I guess that pleased you? Music in this game is so good. <laughs> They're weird music, but the uh, our theme okay but where are you so we want to go off on a boat together but I'm like kind of dead am I missing something oh god I, I want to see the proper ending wait maybe I just have to die okay so just to confirm, everybody, um, that is, like, pretty much the end of the DLC. I double-checked with Dave, who I now have in the call. Hi. Hey. So, that was very sad. And I'm, I'm sad that me and the, um, weird owl deer creature can't go on a raft together into some sunset. I guess now I just fall in the water and, like, wake up to death. Yeah, go for it. Good. Great. Well, there it is. Hm. Well, what I gather is they actually did manage to stop... ...the eye from destroying the universe. But... Because of the prisoner, the Nomai found it, and then that sent everything into a spiral. Is that more or less accurate? Yeah. There's one little bit, but we'll wait before we talk about it. Okay. Um, something that, since you're not going to be going back in there, I may as well. Mm -hmm. There's a, a couple of panels inside of the real world uh, Halo, I guess, mm -hmm. but... What those panels are supposed to be showing is that the halo understands that the sun is supernovaing, and so the solar panels open up, and that's what causes the dam to break. The solar panels open up and push the halo away outside of the supernova's perimeter. The reason that when you, quote, well, when you run out of time in a loop while you're inside of the halo, mm -hmm. it's actually using the graphic that's used if you just fly far away from the solar system and wait. Oh. It's never the you're dying and burning up graphic. It's the right. kind of wasted your time graphic. Yeah. But I mean, you know, the, the whole fucking universe is going to be destroyed anyway, so it's not yeah. like outrunning it is possible. Ooh. They built this thing and made it survive the supernova so that they could keep living in their dream world. So that none of this was going to end for them. But then, because the solar panels open and the dam breaks, two-thirds of them get taken out. Mm -hmm. uh, during the stream, somebody told you uh, you missed out on an ending because you started talking to yourself <laughs> in this area. So your final run, you had your your duplicate here. Oh, right there. Oh, okay. They saw the from the duplicate from the corner of their eye, right? Yeah. Like it's in, yeah. And then you started talking to them, and then you went on to beat the game. When you started the DLC the very first time this... you were done with a loop, it was a weird ending. Right, because the duplicate was still going from the previous loop? Yeah. I have to go to the Dark Bramble, don't I? Yep. Fuck. 
And once you go through this hole, that's where the hard part comes in. Really? It's patience. It's all that's all it is. It's patience. God, I don't remember. So, so just hold thrust, but you're going to stop. And when you stop, stay stopped. Not not like positionally. Where? I mean now or in a second. So what you're going to do is thrust thrust forward towards the scout and then stop. Just like stop moving. Like, uh, well, we can do that again. I guess while we wait, one other bit of information. I don't think you ever saw on the satellite because you timed everything just right to see the stranger. But on the satellite, it actually tells you what degree it is in the in the orbit, and you're supposed to match that degree to what's on the picture in the uh, in the station on uh, on Timberhearth. So I got lo really lucky. You got really lucky. I did have somebody tell me they accidentally placed the lantern down before getting caught because they were like panicking as uh, one of those L people came up to them. Mm -hmm. And there is apparently some kind of animation to go with them killing you. Since if you're not holding the light, they just kill you instead. Oh yeah, no, I got that. I, for a different reason though. Yeah, permanent spine damage. And then this is where the patience comes in, and but hopefully you don't run into that one. <laughs> I'm gonna run into it, Dave. Uh, let's just see what happens. <laughs> God damn it, that's scary. Ah. <sighs> <me. sighs> okay, then I need to get a little closer. Can do it. But this game pretty much became one of my favorite games. Like it's on my top 100, maybe even in my top 50 after Echoes of the Eye. And it probably in time will like continue to expand. Not expand, but you know, climb my list and be uh, I'll have fuzzier, fonder thoughts in my memories of it. Yeah, I feel like this game isn't just top 100, top 50 video games. It's like top 50 experiences in my life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I told Mike to play it. He played it. He really loved it. I told my friend Tyler to play it. And he, this, and he loves story games. I was like, oh, then you got to play Outer Wilds. And he really, really liked it. He was wondering how I liked the DLC, so I'm going to tell him. Like, yeah, you gotta play this. But yeah, in terms of experiences, like in terms of media, books, fucking movies, music, etc. This is up there. This has you think about your place in the universe more than most other media I've experienced in my life. That's um, pretty fucking impressive. Yeah, you didn't hit the brakes fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Why was that like that? I don't know. <laughs> I hate it. It's gonna get eaten as soon as it loads. Yeah, it's kind of unforgiving. It very much is. Yeah, I am so interested in whatever they do next, because they've already said that they're not going to make more DLC. Well, they don't need to, but if they did, I'd be... I'd be down. <laughs> I'd fucking play it. Yeah, I have expressed the interest in, like, they, they could make one DLC every one or two years for this, the same way that they did with Echoes of the Eye, and I would be perfectly fine to throw them, like, $60 every time they did it but I also understand that they are creators and they want to make different stuff, and I cannot blame them for that. However, and the framework of Outer Wilds is you can... Oh, I heard one. Yeah, just, just, just rush it. Just rush it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, God. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 just... that's good because I have a little momentum right now, and it's but helping not me. enough. No, no, no. It's helping me see. Why? I think you need to line it up from like a corner of the entrance, and then thrust one second, let go, and hope for the best. God, hope for the best is not a great answer. I mean, <laughs> it's where the the. Okay, I've got a better strategy for you. All right, so what you did was you just boosted into the entrance. Yeah. And just didn't hit anything. You just float straight through. You get past the fish, mm -hmm. and then you aim towards the vessel once you're far enough from the fish and go towards it. You know what's cool while I'm doing this? Duck sound is so cute. Hey, you know, I'm gonna write a strongly... I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter to the creator of this video. Because this doesn't represent me properly. Me, Kermit the Frog. I don't have a cucumber, I have a fucking fat cock! So if I just go in, it'll correct my angle anyway? Yeah, I believe so. Mm. And just don't touch anything. You're just gonna float by for the next three minutes. Three minutes? Something like that. <laughs> Hopefully not a full three minutes, but oh god, you're right. It works. It just... it works. It just barely gets you past them. I forgot about this. Whatever this crap is. The core of the bramble. Is, I think it's the angler fish's eggs. Oh. They think they just own this place. No, no more anglers? I think you're good, yeah. You're all set. <sighs> this is them first getting here, right? When they first, yep. first, first got here after being detecting the signal? Yep. In the DLC, they show um, the hard You can get game. out of your ship now. This is good. This is good. But hey, look, we got coordinates in the bottom left. That's nice. So, yeah, there's the eye, and if you look up and to the left, you might see something moving around somewhere in space. Green. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, is this the, the thing that they use yeah. to control it? Yep. So as far as we know, it was always there. Of course, <laughs> yeah, of course. Man, I forgot how cool this was. And this is why when people shit on Unity, like I have in the past, it's because the fucking Unity logo was on every egg-like, every free game that used it it was like hey unity and then it was trash when people shit on unity and then i think about outer wilds it's like no i will say one thing when you did this before you looked straight down most of the time or straight up i would say try to look forward as you get sucked into the thing you're looking at right okay now. Because you missed this. Oh, wow. That does look pretty fucking awesome. There's like a whole thing that has to be done here that I'm just now remembering, but I forget exactly what it is, so, that, you know. Gotta figure that out. Isn't there like. You have to build like a tree house? <laughs> Gonna make the best marshmallow I've ever had. 
here at the end of the universe. Beautiful. Somehow my mind equated this to building a treehouse. If the deer shows up and just plays an instrument, I'm uninstalling the game and calling... Um, I'm, I'm calling Todd Howard. <laughs> Dave is sweating right now. He's sweat frogging. <laughs> but here, let's let's do it. Let's actually... It's, it's a little more than that. Hello, Hathi, and it is I. The but DLC, only a little. The, Ed, the DLC deer. Dear LC, you can call me. I'm here to finally and fully explain to you everything that you already know. Hmm. Wait, so the the prisoner was was he dead when I met him? And only VR? Um is actually, that a spoiler? Actually, no. When my kind found the eye and realized it, what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult to truth. Like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in, the, in darkness, obfuscated and lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right. Yet I am still of my kind. And you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Um, wh which one did you choose? The first one. There's nothing to gain from not letting okay. him play. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. Alright, at least I got some dialogue out of this. That's nice. In order to finish the DLC, you have to kill yourself. But that means that you can't leave the dream world right. after you unlock the casket or whatever it's called, the vault. But something does happen in the real world when you open the vault. The vault in the real world also opens. But you can't see it because you can't get back out there. If you data mine the codes for the three bridges to cross, mm -hmm then you can do it without dying. And you can see the vault open up in the real world. I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Yeah. Then it's time. It's time to send our spark out into the darkness. I forgot how much this ending affected me, especially because it's music. I'm assuming I picked up my guitar last time and tried to play along. I would imagine that's something, it's a very me thing to do. I can confirm you did, in fact, take out your guitar and play. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that that's, uh... Ending of Outer Wilds enhanced with Deer Owl thing. It's very good. This is an excellent excellent game with an excellent DLC that I think stands it kind of stands on its own as its own thing granted you need to know how to like do some of the game mechanics and get to the stranger and if you want to see that extra little bit of information at the end there you're going to have to figure out all that stuff 
but they work really well together and it's great also i'm glad i did that even though it took another hour and 20 minutes or so of my time because a it brought me back to when i first experienced the ending and this game deserves that and b even just getting to talk to one of those dudes without them cracking my skull or putting out my flame was nice and just that little extra little bit of dialogue was i think worth seeing though i still don't think they were wrong for trying to preserve you know the universe as the universe is nice <laughs> i guess it was just its time but you know sometimes sometimes things just have to end so any information on what happens to that lad so originally before the latest patch uh it didn't do anything i think that they patched in being able to open the sarcophagus in real life and seeing what's inside um i can't find any videos of it because it's so recent of a change so no i don't have any information other than what the seal codes are if we wanted to do that so the the actual seal codes for the container not in the dream world uh in the dream world and then you leave the dream world because you didn't kill yourself to do it right okay but they did add something yeah uh, we could always just cut it if it's not interesting <laughs> all right yeah let's let's do it then uh but there is there is one more little thing at the end of the credits okay uh but while we wait what do you think would be the best game for these guys to make next um I guess the the first reaction would be to make a, a, a similar like knowledge type game, and that's like a weird way to describe a genre, knowledge type. But I think actually giving a game like this a shot, but with um, a little bit more immersive gameplay like action like an action adventure game plus this like style of, of detail of like having to learn what to do I don't know I, I mean the first person thing works really well but at the end of the day like the gameplay is is like every other first person game so maybe like a third person game with a variety of like um, interactive physics I mean, I, I hesitate to say combat because this is the last thing I think of when I think of a game like this. But I, I wouldn't mind seeing them try something completely different and have, like, yeah, third person, somewhat action, puzzle solving with maybe physics that maybe mirror Breath of the Wild a little bit. And then also take that into a story that you can unfold, you can watch unfold, and and instead of having to, you know, like get skill checks and new items like a Metroidvania, it is similar to Outer Wilds where you have knowledge. Those are little mantis creatures again. Hmm, oh, that's new. Yeah. They're taller than the trees, whatever they are. Well, they have flames, so they're like echoes of the previous dudes. <gasps> All right. I, I do wonder if the eyes communication is uh, malicious, malevolent, and and was like creating cult-like followings in, in any species that was able to hear it. 
uh, or if it was just something that these two species found fascinating and wanted to see. You know? Maybe it wasn't malevolent in and of itself, but just how insanely like that's as close to God, the evidence of God as any civilization has found. Right. And that's just a byproduct of what it is. Because you know if there was something like that that we discovered as human, like humans, I was going to say human animals, <laughs> we, we would um, we would probably have a subsect of people that dropped whatever they believed in and just said, well, that's, I can see that. That's in a, proof. In a way, Interstellar kind of does that because they go off into that black hole because it just kind of appeared out of nowhere all of a sudden. And they're mm -hmm. like, well, maybe there's something there. So when I saw this before, I was like, how do I do this? I want to do this. This looks like fun. <laughs> but uh, it, I thought it was like a memory for a minute. And I'm like, oh, this is the ideal. This is what the lad wants, but that's not something that can just happen. So that's when I called you because I was like, do I have to go on this raft? <laughs> no, where do you, go where do, the water. Where to go? You can see his footsteps too. That's a nice touch. And there he is. I guess that's what they patched in. Yeah, looks like he's long dead though. Well, that does make sense. Everybody else is long dead. There's yeah. not necessarily anything in the vault to keep them like preserved. But it's it's also interesting that um So he he was like fuck it, you know, I'll just die now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they created, they left him in there and, and that was his punishment just to leave him in there in that big fucking thing that was dropped underwater. Interesting. Meanwhile, in the VR world, he has a little bit of room. I mean, he's still, it's weird that he's still imprisoned in the VR world when if they just locked him in there, I guess there, well, there's maybe some stuff he could have done, but I don't know. It's, I, it's weird. It's it's like an extremely harsh punishment because they also put him in this bell to ensure that. But um, I think if it's anything we can both take away from Outer Wilds, it's it's fuck anglerfish so yeah. much. 